Despite the enduring popularity of Chevrolet's Trax model range, buyers of Trax models built over the past five years could expect to experience transmission failure, serious brake system issues, wheel alignment problems, and power steering failures, among many other problems. You could also expect to fork out thousands of dollars to fix these and other failures without any guarantee that major components such as the transmission will not fail again. Keep watching this video as we count down the top seven reasons why you should not buy the Chevrolet Trax. Reason number seven, underpowered engines. All Trax models built over the past few years are fitted with a turbocharged 1.2-liter three-cylinder engine that'll deliver a paltry 137 horsepower at 5,000 RPM and an equally paltry 162 pound-feet of torque between 2,500 and 4,000 RPM. Although the engine is mated with a shiftable conventional six-speed automatic transmission, the acceleration of the last few Trax models is not spirited to say the least. Many authoritative reviewers have reported that the last few Trax models could only manage 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.8 .8 seconds and then only by driving the little three-cylinder engines to their absolute limits in terms of power output, even though the latest iteration of the Trax weighs 140 pounds less than its immediate predecessors. It's also also worth remembering that the three-cylinder engines in the latest Trax models produce 20 horsepower less than the four-cylinder engines they replace. So if you want a compact SUV with spirited performance, the latest Trax models are not for you. Even if it beats one of its main competitors, the Subaru Crosstrek, which has a 2-liter non-turbo flat 4 engine by nearly one second in 0 to 60 miles per hour acceleration tests. Reason number 6. Unreliable transmission. Transmission issues and even catastrophic transmission failures are so common on second-generation Trax models that they almost seem like a defining characteristic of the last few build years. If you're planning on buying any Trax model built over the past five years or so, bear in mind that transmission issues on these models are many and varied. Many owners have reported that the transmission often begins to lag or slip severely only after a few thousand miles of use, and in some cases, almost right from the get-go, after they took delivery of their new Trax vehicles. Other transmission issues include but are not limited to a failure to select reverse gear, harsh or juddering gear shifts, not downshifting as expected, or sudden and unexpected catastrophic transmission failures for reasons that Chevrolet has yet to disclose to the public or Chevrolet dealerships for that matter. While Chevrolet is obliged to replace failed or problematic transmissions on late model Trax vehicles if the vehicle is still under warranty, it's important to note that the period between the process of filing a warranty claim and a dealership actually replacing a faulty transmission can sometimes take several months, which is a major inconvenience to say the least. It's also important to note that if your Trax is not covered by the factory warranty or an extended warranty, fixing or replacing a faulty transmission could cost you between $3,000 and $6,000, which is not exactly pocket change by most standards. Reason number five, engine coolant leaks. While no modern engine is immune to developing engine coolant leaks, the engine cooling systems in late model Trax vehicles are particularly prone to springing leaks in several locations. Many odors have reported burst or leaking radiator hoses, cracked radiator surge tanks, and leaking coolant pumps, and in most, if not all cases, these leaks and consequent damage like engine failure are not covered under the manufacturer's warranty because according to Chevrolet, hoses and radiators do not form integral parts of the engine. However, this is not the same as saying that all Trax models are are susceptible to coolant system leaks and failures because many Trax vehicles never experience engine cooling system issues of any kind during their lifetimes. Nonetheless, cooling system leaks and failures have been a perennial feature of all Trax models since they first went on sale in the USA, even though not all Trax vehicles are equally likely to experience serious cooling system failures. Reason number four, excessive body roll. Low-priced SUVs and crossovers from all manufacturers, including those made by the Trax's main competitors, tend to exhibit a sometimes uncomfortable amount of body roll when negotiating corners as a result of their high centers of gravity. However, some late-model Trax vehicles take excessive body roll to alarming heights. In fact, drivers of some Trax models have reported that it seemed as if the vehicle was about to fall over while going around corners even though they were traveling at moderate speeds and their vehicles were not overloaded, which made them feel extremely uncomfortable. Speeding and overloading are the main causes of excessive body roll on any vehicle, but in the case of some late model Trax vehicles, it turned out the Chevrolet had incorporated unsuitable springs in the suspension systems. Since the springs could not counteract the transfer of weight around corners, the affected Trax models became extremely unstable around corners, which caused a significant number of rollovers and crashes as a result of a loss of directional control. It is important to point out that not all Trax models built during the past five years are affected by excessive body roll, and in some cases, some competing small SUVs made by other manufacturers also exhibit large amounts of body roll. However, if you are shopping for a used Trax model, be sure to undertake a proper test drive. That includes corners to avoid 
buying a Trax model that wallows around corners instead of going around corners on a relatively even keel as most compact Toyota, Kia, and Honda SUVs do comfortably. Reason number three, not so great fuel economy. Although the latest Chevrolet Trax model range cannot be classed as fuel guzzlers, their MPG figures published by the EPA are not exactly stellar. Since all the models in the lineup have the same engines, their MPG figures are 28 miles per gallon in city driving and 32 miles per gallon at highway speeds. And while these figures are acceptable for this class of vehicle, some of the Trax's direct competitors deliver markedly better MPG figures. For example, the latest Nissan Kicks delivers 31 miles per gallon in city driving and 36 miles per gallon at highway speeds, while the Toyota Corolla Cross delivers delivers 31 miles per gallon in city driving and 33 miles per gallon at highway speeds. Reason number two, zero towing capacity. While the first generation Trax models and incidentally all of the small SUVs from competing brands have decent if not always spectacular towing capabilities, it turns out that there's a lot of confusion about how much weight the latest second generation Trax model can tow safely or if it can tow anything at all. Doing a quick internet search will reveal a lot of conflicting information. For example, many online sources state confidently that the latest Trax model can tow up to 1,263 pounds while some Australian based sources state that the Holden Trax, which is how Trax models are known there can tow 1,200 kilograms, but common sense dictates that these values cannot both be true at the same time. However, the truth is that the latest Trax model cannot tow anything at all, because as Chevrolet states on page 174 of the latest Trax user's manual, the vehicle is neither designed nor intended to tow a trailer. This is borne out by the fact that Chevrolet's parts catalog does not list a tow hitch or associated hardware and wiring. So why is this important? It's important because many owners of compact SUVs depend on their vehicle's towing capacity to support their lifestyles. Many people tow trailers loaded with motorcycles, jet skis, small all-terrain vehicles, and the like to competitions or just to enjoy a day out in nature. But as stated by Chevrolet, they can't do that with the latest Trax model. Worse though, fitting an unauthorized third-party tow hitch will void a second-generation Trax's factory warranty. I mean, sure, many potential buyers of the latest Trax models neither want nor need tow trailers, but if a vehicle's towing capacity is important to you, you'd be better served by considering some of the many comparable compact SUVs from a variety of competing manufacturers. Number 1. Pricing and Value for Money Pricing for the latest Trax 5 model lineup starts at $21,495 for the entry LS model and rises to $24,995 for the top-of-the-line active model. Although these price points compare favorably with its competitors, are you really getting value for your money given the Trax brand's inherent and well-documented poor reliability? While none of the competing compact SUVs in the Toyota, Kia, Honda, and Subaru stables is entirely free of faults and defects, none of these models suffer the same failures and malfunctions at the same rate that most models in the Chevrolet brand do. Some of these failures are recorded in the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's database and they include, but are not limited to, sudden and unexplained brake failure, unexpected loss of power steering assistance, sudden transmission failure, and electrical failures that often immobilize the vehicle. If one adds to this the lack of an all-wheel drive option that is available in many of the Trax's direct competitors such as the Ford Escape, Kia Sportage, and 2024 Mazda CX-5 among many others, it becomes clear that Chevrolet's Trax brand is for die-hard Trax fans only. Thanks for watching and see you next time.